Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the KitchenAid mixer groove pin. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new groove pin. The groove pin is what holds the planetary assembly onto the shaft. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's worn out and keeps falling out of place. Before you work on the mixer, you want to make sure all the attachments are off. In order to remove the beater, all you have to do is lift up on it and then turn it clockwise as you're looking down on it. Then you can let it go and lift it out. Then we can remove the bowl, which all you have to do is lift up on it and pull it out. Now that we have the bowl and the beater out, we have access to the groove pin. It's located right up here on the planetary. Yours is loose or worn out. It's probably already fallen out, but if you need to tap it out, you just need to grab a punch and a small hammer and very carefully tap it out. Once you're getting to the end of the groove pin, you just want to tap very lightly so it doesn't fly across the room. Once you have it out, you can grab it and pull it off the mixer. Here's the old groove pin next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Before you put the new groove pin in, you want to run the punch through the opening to make sure that the shaft didn't settle and that it's still lined up and the groove pin will go through. Then you can carefully start the new groove pin just by pressing it in with your hand. Once you have the groove pin started, we can grab our punch and carefully tap it in. You want to be careful that you don't damage the mixer. Once you have the groove pin in and it's flush, we can put the bowl and the beater back on. To put the bowl back on, all you have to do is line up the pin holes and set it down. Once you have it in place, you can lock it in. Once you have the bowl in, we can put the beater on. To put the beater back on, all you have to do is line up the shaft with the opening and make sure that the locking pin goes in the slot. You can lift it into place and lock it on. Once you have the mixer put back together, you can plug it back in and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.